Hi everyone, my name is Marnie and this is my very first YouTube video and hopefully it's not my last, hopefully you folks like the things I talk about. Um, I would like to talk about gemstones and the beauty behind gemstones and the history and where they come from, not necessarily the technical side, I'm not a gemologist, I'm not a geologist, I just like gemstones and the beauty of the colors and just the exotic gemstones that normal people, most people don't see. Um, today I would like to talk about chrome diopside. Chrome diopside is a beautiful Kelly green color and it's found in one place in the world and that is Siberia, Russia. It's very cold there so they are only able to mine about four months out of the year um, and the gemstones are pretty small. They're, they run between a quarter of a carat and a half carat, and that's usually the norm. Now if you get into the carats and two carats, those are actually pretty large. So what I would like to do is I'd like to show you some of my specimens here. There's a glare, let's see, um, there's about nine there, and most of them are oval. Um, there's a round and there's a, um, there's a pear shape. Now oval is um, the most common cut out there and that is because you lose less of the rough when you do cut an oval. So that's why you see a lot more um, oval shapes out there. I do have a emerald cut and it's a little darker but it's still beautiful. Um, let's see if I can get that luster. Well, it's kind of hard. There we go. Um, it's a 7x5 and it would make a beautiful ring, I think. See, there we go. Um, it gets its color from chromium, which um, it makes that green color. I also have a six millimeter round. Um, and let's see if you can see the color. This one's a little lighter. The lighter ones are more sought after. The darker they get, the more black they look. So. The, the, the lighter green, um, Kelly green color is what everybody is sought after, or they sought after. Um, I also have a ring that I made. What happened was, um, Mervyn's was going out of business, and what I did was I went down there to see what kind of jewelry they had on clearance, and I found a 14 karat gold mystic topaz with diamonds, and <clears throat> there I turned that mystic topaz into a chrome diopside ring by popping out that ugly gray mystic topaz. It was not a very pretty and not a very high quality gemstone. So what I did was I popped out that gemstone and I popped in my chrome diopside and I actually got that ring for 50 bucks and I think for a 14 karat gold with diamonds I think that's a pretty good price. So I popped in the green chrome diopside and the chrome diopside cost me about 30 bucks, so about 80 bucks, and I got a beautiful one of a kind chrome diopside and diamond ring. Um, chrome, chrome diopside is a relatively soft stone. On the most um, scale, it goes from a one, which is talc, and talc is if you scrape it off, you, um, you get talcum powder. They make talcum powder out of talc. Um, so it's really, really soft, and that's a, a scale of one, and the mole scale, uh, scales goes from one, which is talcum, all the way to a ten, and a ten would be diamond, which diamonds are the hardest substance on the earth. So um, that would be ten, and so chrome diopside is right in the middle. It's a 5.5 .5 to a six on the mole scale of hardness. So it's a relatively small stone. You're not really supposed to make rings out of them because they do get scratched up but I don't wear my ring very often I wear it maybe one day out of the month um, when I wear green and I'm really careful about scuffing it or anything so I knowing that it's such a soft stone I take care of my ring and I'm pretty proud of it um, I uh, I just love it so there it is um, I think I will make another YouTube video about um, Cassiopeia. It is a mystic topaz and it's got layers of colors. Um, it goes, I think it goes yellow, pink, and blue. And then when you 
look at the face of it, it's a beautiful mystically colored um, topaz. And so what I'll do is next time I will talk about that. I have one, but I think you'll be really happy with the colors and stuff. Um, so yeah, just stay tuned. If you have any questions uh, about chrome dioxide, um, where it comes from, any kind of questions like that, message me down below. If you um, would like to talk or hear anything about any other kind of gemstones, message me down below and I will get back to you. So hopefully this is not my last. Hopefully you all like the things I talk about. And um, yeah, so till next time, bye.